So you've had at least 20,000 people listen to you and most of them no longer listen. What do most people say to you when they leave your teachings? Well, yes, I've had 20,000 people listen to me in this life face-to-face, -face, shall we say. Obviously, millions and millions of people have listened to me over history, but 20,000 people have listened to me face-to-face -face in this life. Without exception, every single person who's now no longer listening to me, have, has, who has told me why they're no longer listening to me, has said, they don't listen to me anymore because they can't believe that I'm Jesus. Or, to put it more succinctly, they usually say, they know that I'm not Jesus. And that's why they don't listen to me anymore. They don't not listen to me because what I say is illogical. They don't say that it's because they can't believe it. They don't, they, it's only the stuff about being Jesus they feel they can't believe. And they say categorically that they know that I'm not Jesus. And I think, yeah, I'm sorry, but you're being really illogical now because there is no way that you can know that I'm not Jesus. Unless you were with me in my first century life, with me throughout my spirit life, saw my return through your spirit eyes and then return to earth with me and then have lived this life with me, there is no way that you can prove that I'm not Jesus. So it's an illogical statement to say that you're not listening to me anymore because I'm not Jesus. The reason why you're not listening to me anymore is because I said something that confronts you and you don't want to listen to it anymore. So be honest about that. Say, yeah, I don't like what you said about this. So I don't want to hear anymore. That's fine. <laughs> Do that. Because it's impossible for you to prove that I'm not Jesus and it's impossible for you to know that I'm not Jesus. Impossible. And while it's like that, um, any time you say to me that you are not listening anymore or you've refused to listen right from the beginning because I'm saying that I'm Jesus, you are being very illogical and unreasonable. It's a very unreasonable thing to do. Now, I think it's very reasonable to say to me, I'm not listening to you anymore because you don't make any sense. <laughs> or I'm not listening to you anymore because I believe you're a scoundrel and because I've got proof that you are. Or I'm not listening anymore because you lie all the time and I can't abide lies or whatever. Now, that would make sense to me. Of course, none of those things are true, but it would make sense to me if you said those things or that you believed them even. Then it would so to say I'm not listening to you anymore because I know that you're Jesus. I know, not sorry, Jesus. not Jesus. Mm. And I feel it's quite amazing that the majority of people think that that is a valid reason to, to not listen to somebody. I listen to everybody, and they're not Jesus. Like, you know, when the eagle comes and talks to me in my house and says to me, AJ, I think you should do this. I go, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I listen to him. Because I evaluate everything that's said to me based on its logic, based on its reasonableness, based on the love that's in it, based on the truth that's in it, not based on the individual that's telling me it even. And I don't, so I don't expect Igor to be Jesus before I listen to him. So why would you expect me to be Jesus before you listen to me? That doesn't make any logical sense either. So I feel there's a lot of illogical behaviour when it comes to people's assessment of my identity. 